Hello everybody! I'm going live in a different place today on my own news feed. Cool! Woohoo! All right, so have you guys made that spice mix? Remember from last week when we were talking about the spice mix? Remember? Remember? So remember I also talked about tastes, right? I said what each spice tasted like. Okay, so this week we're going to talk about some tastes. Did you know that there are six different tastes? What? I thought there was just like sweet and salty, maybe sour. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so this is really cool. This is going to be fun and interesting. Each day, today, tomorrow, Wednesday, I'm going to talk to you about two different tastes, okay? If you want to know more and get really deeper, learn a little bit more, which is going to be super cool. We're going to talk about the tongue. Join me Wednesday evening, 7 p.m. I'm going to do a live Zoom, okay? That's going to be super fun. So first off, tastes, okay? How does this relate? Last week, you heard me talk a little bit about if you are a vata energy, if you're an air energy, if you're a fire pitta energy, right? If you're a kapha energy, water and earth, right? So how do we know? The, did the taste work with that? What, what does all of that even mean, right? Okay, so if we're more vata, we're more air. We are lighter. We have tendency towards dryness, okay? So if we eat excess in bitter taste, bitter is air. It's lighter. Then we can go excess in that. It doesn't bring us into balance, right? If we are more fire type, then... If we eat more pungent, more salty, those have fire qualities. Those will bring us out of balance into excess, okay? If we are more pitta or um, kapha, more water, more earth, okay? Oh, I'm stuck in the earth. And we eat excess sweets. Sweets are heavier. Sweets are water. Sweets are earth. Then it brings us into a deeper off balance, okay? Does that kind of make sense to you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So what do we do then? Like attracts like, all right? So if you're more of a fire type, you might really want more pungenty food, like spicy wings. The spicier sauce, the better. Boom. That's going to throw you out of balance if you're always doing that in excess. Might put you towards frustration, anger, rage, things like that, okay? Just as an example. So what we want to do is do the opposite to bring us into balance. Does this make sense? The tastes also have effects in our organs, in our body. A lot of different effects, but I'm not going to go there yet. If you want to know more, join me on Wednesday. Cool? Okay. All right. So we want to find balance. We want to find the opposite. It's like in a relationship. You just say opposites attract. That's why, because the opposite person might bring us into more harmony, right? So we get along, we bounce off each other. We kind of vibe, we harmonize with each other, right? Whereas if you're with somebody who's the same energy type as you, then you might be like pew, 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 pew. You know, the relationship might work, but it might be a struggle a lot of times. <laughs> and then you realize it might not work. I don't know. It's all good. Okay. So the two tastes that I'm going to talk about today are the tastes that we know, the taste that we're like, okay, yeah, sweet, sweet chocolate bar, right? So first off, because I'm saying sweet will balance fire and air more, I am not saying go and eat a pile of chocolate bars because Roxanne said so because this is going to balance me. No, no, no. <laughs> you can still go into excess. Okay, so just be mindful of that. So first off, sweet. Sweet has earth qualities and water qualities. So it will bring those more air fire types into balance, okay, when you have a nice amount of them in good, good sweets, okay? Kappa, it'll bring us into excess because these are the elements that we are excess in. Does this make sense to you so far? I hope so, okay? So if we are in imbalance and we have excess sweet too much, then we might get excess sleep. We feel heavy, we feel lethargic, we might even lose our appetite. 
We might have coughs because the sweet affects our lungs, okay? Creates more mucus, more buildup, and we might get bronchitis, things like that, once we start to excess within the container where sweet lies. Cool? Diabetes happens, abnormal growth in muscles, if we have excess, okay? So the action, what I told you, is that it decreases, so it balances out vata, air, and pitta, creates excess in water and earth. <laughs> All right? I know this is just a fun thing for me because I can't see you guys who I'm chatting to. So next taste, next taste is salt. Salt. Okay? What is salty? Salt. You have some food that tastes salty because of the salt. <laughs> There's no other food that is salty. It's the salt, okay? <laughs> salt is fire and water, okay? So I said the pitta type is mostly fire. There is a little bit of water in the pitta type because in those fire pitta types, it has to do with our blood. Our blood is liquid, right? Our blood is water, okay? Just so you know. So it, it could increase pitta. If you have too much salt, because it is heating, it is pungent, it is activating. So if we have too much salt, those fire types, boom, more fire. Burn more fire and then we've created a forest fire within the body, okay? It can also increase our kapha because there is water, okay? So if you have a tendency to hold water, retain water, too much salt retains more water. Make sense so far? Or are you kind of like, whoa? Mind blown, okay? Oh, heating, all right? So this is going to balance our, our air types. I feel like Bill Nye, the science guy. You know how cool he was? He was like really animated and cool. Well, anyways, side note, I'm having fun. So <laughs> imbalances, it can create imbalances in our blood, blood disorders. So Pitt has more of that blood Okay, so it can create imbalances in there. Skin diseases, it has to do with circulation, it has to do with our blood, right? We can see diseases in the skin if we have excess salt. Inflammation, oh my God, I'm stuck, right? Okay, disturbs the blood, basically, okay? So how does all of this sound to you? Is it fun? Is it interesting? Would you like to learn more? Would you like to learn how... Looking at the tongue, we can see what taste we might be off balance in, getting too much of or not getting enough of. Generally, we see it getting too much of. If you're interested in that, oh, somebody gave me a thumbs up. I don't know who it is, but thumbs up to you too. Um, then follow me and I will post the link underneath this video for the live 7 p.m. Wednesday evening talking about all six tastes because they deal with the elements. Okay? All right? All right. I think I'm done now. Done being goofy. Got an exam to go do. So I will see you later. Bye, guys.